deal with the... I don't know. I'm just coming in to say that Norwegian mornings in the winter are the worst. It's ten past nine. And we're sat here in pitch black darkness. And we've been doing so for an hour and still hoping that there'll be some daylight soon. But I think we're looking into maybe an hour from now because it has lightened up. Like this is more blue than black for the time being. Uh, so here's what we're hoping that, you know, it's going to be like a halo over the hills at least. And you can just forget about sunlight to be honest. So I'm a bit, yeah, having a hard time waking up. That's fine because I've got my coffee. I... I, am I a coffee drinker now? Is that who I am? Is that who I am? I got a nice mug. Uh, yeah, I guess coffee's what. I mean, I think there's a reason why Norway is the second most coffee consuming country in the world per capita, second after Finland, last time I checked. There's a reason why. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go have some breakfast now. We're watching podcasts, me and Cassie here under the a blanket she's not really allowed to be on the sofa but i figured mom what doesn't what she doesn't know won't hurt her and you know what cassie needs to be spoiled because she's old and you know all the little seconds i have left with her will be very much cherished and she will be spoiled rotten yes the best part about christmas is that you get to add butter to your butter <laughs> And yeah, that's the loaf that I bought yesterday. It's very buttery and obviously you have to add butter to that. And these are the cheeses I plan on using today. Let's just look at the Gradost first. It says Norwegian actually, but Gradost is a Swedish cheese. This is just, it just happens to be made in Bayern in Norway. It's nice and creamy and mild. You can get it in London, I know. You can probably order it online from those shops like Scandinavian Kitchen this Swedish shop I can't remember the name of and it's just very tasty I had a friend from I think she was from Brazil Brazil she was very very preoccupied with this cheese it's very nice very creamy I only eat it during Christmas because it's quite uh, maybe not the healthiest so yeah it's kind of become synonymous with Christmas for me apologies for my voice you guys this is me in the morning <laughs> and this is the brown cheese I mean, I'm just going to assume, like, because you're watching a Norwegian podcast, you may have heard about the brown cheese. It is technically not cheese. It is caramelized lactose. There is a story about this truck that was just carrying this cheese <clears throat> and uh, it caught fire. It crashed and it caught fire and the fire burned for days because of all the calories in the brown cheese. So again, not something I eat too often, but it's very nice on this bread and it's sweet. If you ever try this cheese, it um, doesn't really taste like cheese and it's, like I said, technically not really cheese, but because of our heritage, we're allowed to call it cheese. It's sweet. It's very sweet. Do not expect it to taste like cheese, but do not expect it to taste like chocolate or anything like that either. It's kind of goaty. It's kind of truffle I don't know, that's probably not right. I don't know, it's just weird, it's, it's sweet. I think that's the best thing we can say. I want to eat my food now, if you don't mind. <laughs> hey, so I've just been sat here for a bunch of hours. It's nearly noon. It's kind of bright, arguably. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, the best that we can do. This is part of the reason I moved. I love Norway, but uh, the winter darkness kind of gets to me. So I'm just knitting away while Cassie's having a nap at my side. Just being awfully cuddly today. Just snoring like my little baby. I'm sorry, my camera handling is pretty bad. So one of my best friends wants to meet up for a gift exchange tomorrow. And I'm like, I had a plan for her. What was that again? Oh right, it's still on the needles. I was like, I could maybe just finish that pair of mittens and that neck warmer and do something like that. And I'm like, none of these things are finished. What was I planning on giving her again? I might have to quickly shop something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a plan for this. I'm just going to try to see if I can finish the neck warmer and maybe buy something and add that together. Maybe I will finish neck warmer and the mittens. We shall see. I'm just a bit uh, not 
work it up about it exactly, but just, you know, I guess I know what I'll be doing all day today. <sighs> this is why, I mean, I had decided initially not to really knit gifts this year, but then I realised uh, how else am I supposed to afford to buy gifts to people. So this is what we're going to do. I will let you know how I get going as I keep knitting through the day while I'm watching podcasts. I've been going through a lot of podcasts from my watching list. I watched uh, ooh, the Crafty Chat podcast with Hannah of uh, A Corner of Craft. And I'm now watching the Bakery Bears. I have watched uh, Squirrel Pie Productions uh, and Yarn Gassum, of course. Uh, oh God, my brain is fried. Let's just catch up a bit later. Uh, this is what happens with me in this kind of time of year in Norway. I'm just like constantly in a bit of a brain fog. Yay! Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish uh, that cow. I'm getting a bit nervous now. I'm not sure what to do if I have to maybe do some Christmas gift shopping beforehand. I, I'm just behind on everything. This autumn has been a bit of a mess mentally and uh, yeah, we'll see. But I switched on the camera now because I feel like maybe we need to have another one of those serious talks. I have really enjoyed doing Vlogmas, I have to say. It's really nice to have that immediacy of, you know, recording one day and getting responses on the end of the day and the next day. And I can make a video that day to re-answer things and keep that thing back and forth. That's really been one of the best things about doing this. And also going a bit off topic, talking about other things. But there is this other kind of... Thing that I am feeling is perhaps be feeling not for many for anyone's intentions but it's feeling a bit invasive and I think it just makes sense because I am sharing more you know you see more of my home my family's homes and my town and it there are I get the sense that some want just more and more and more and uh, I want to say in the vaguest terms that I have put up boundaries. You may not see the boundaries, but they are there. And you, th that's kind of the point, to not see what's on the other side of those boundaries. I'm not sharing everything. There are lots of things in my life that aren't shiny and lovely and beautiful. And I've decided consciously to not talk about those things. But I have, when I get uh, feedback from viewers, you know, saying, like, oh, it must be so nice for you with this and this and that. And I'm like, thinking to myself actually no it isn't and I could either ignore that which I don't think is very nice or I could say oh yeah it totally is which is lying or I could three say actually these things are quite problematic in my life um, and I'm not going to do either I can't do either because one is kind of telling too much because this is the internet it's public it's going everywhere and I don't like lying and being dishonest. And I don't like the idea of showing just the shiny, beautiful, happy stuff either. So I have hinted that there are some, some things about coming home that, that aren't great. There are reasons why I do not live in this country. That I haven't told anyone. That I won't tell anyone. Because they don't just... Because uh, quite frankly, I won't be sharing everything. I won't put all of my life on display. My history. Everything that is me and personal and my relations to others it's just not gonna happen and i hope that people will understand and respect that and so sometimes when i say things that other people don't understand because in their life situation that isn't true and so i should not be saying these things because that doesn't make sense to people but my life is very uh, it's a mixed bag. There are lots of good things, but there are things that aren't great. There is a history that isn't great. There are reasons why I struggle with a lot of things that I often have to be confronted with when I go home. And I just want people to understand that because growing up, I've always often been told as a child that I am at fault. You just accept you don't know the full story. I'm not going to tell the full story because some things are private and personal and there are private and personal things that I have not shared, that I will not share. It's the same thing with earlier this year as well. There have been things I haven't shared and I've had lots of support and kind people, well-meaning, lovely comments that I could never have anticipated. That's meant the world. And I'm not gonna ever take that for granted. But I'm hoping to maybe also 
get that same level of support here even if I can't give you the details even if I can't say everything uh, and I think from now on just I will focus on the good stuff about being here about being with my lovely pets who are <laughs> maybe perhaps a bit eager to go out so we'll be going out on a bit of a walk and uh, we'll try to film more stuff from when I go downtown but please accept that there are things that will not be included I will probably not involve anyone on this this vlogmas whether it's friends or family because that's just a different part of my life I did not include my friends when I was seeing them yesterday or on Saturday um because I just kind of want those things to be separate and I hope you'll understand that as well uh, but yeah, I thought we could talk about something else because as you will see this home does not have much Christmas decor There are the odd few things there is, you know, the Christmas lights here The star up here, you know, that's the usual advent decor and that's out and we have a couple of Christmassy things But the big box of Christmas decor is not yet out and this is a very important part about Norwegian perhaps also other Scandinavian, but I'm just gonna focus on Norwegian uh, Christmas preparation and celebration is the distinction between Advent and Christmas. And I know more people now are following this less, but traditionally, and here we are very caught up with tradition apparently, uh, you do not put up Christmas decorations or the Christmas tree until the 23rd. The 23rd is Little Christmas Eve. I'm gonna try to record from Little Christmas Eve when we do get the box of Christmas decor out, when we put the tree up, an artificial tree sorry that's uh, removing some of the charm but uh, we found that to be most convenient and it's kind of a ceremony and it's all right to decorate together on that day but I know more and more Norwegians now are just putting it up on the 1st of December or sometime during December so my voice is a bit gone today <laughs> uh, so it's just kind of an important separation between Advent and Christmas in Norway and so the lights are out and on and you know lights are definitely still happening but the all the little nissa figures and the angels and the glittery stuff and all the red things and the christmas cushions and whatever we put out they come out on the 23rd and they last throughout december and we take them down some days but after new year's eve and i like it it means that we don't have uh, too much of Christmas, but not too little. It's just enough. I feel I don't get sick of any of it It just brings that nice atmosphere for that time that I have That we have of work in school and whatever And so I just thought that would be a nice thing to tell you that little Christmas Eve is an actual day It's not a word I made up. It's on the 23rd Christmas Eve is on the 24th Which is when the main stuff happens and the 25th is just nothing. Sorry just 25th isn't a Christmas day here. It is Christmas day, literally, but not not much happens. It's just like, ooh, I ate a lot the evening before. Ooh, I got a lot of things. Ooh, I'm tired, I'm gonna relax. <laughs> so yeah, I'll fill you in a bit more on that later, I think. I just thought that was worth mentioning because I'm, I bet some have wondered where is the de Christmas decorations and yeah, they're just not coming up yet. I know more and more Norwegians are putting it out now, but the, Oh, sorry, I just have to cut this little Christmas, little Christmas Eve talk short because my voice is completely killing me. I'm not sure what's wrong. I've had probably tonsillitis all winter, to be honest, and autumn and everything. So I'm just going to like decorate the rest of this Vlogmas video with the uh, footage and songs. Cause, uh, yeah. And also thanks for the compliments from my friend who was singing in the last Vlogmas. I've used her song before, but this time I actually met with her so I could ask her, do you want credit or do you just want it to be like an anonymous thing? And I, she said it was nice, it would be nice to be credited, so I just added that to the video. And uh, yeah, thank you for the nice words about her singing voice. She's a very talented musician, so appreciate that. Yeah, catch you later. Kissy!
guys. I don't know about you, but is that the sun? Is that like a hint of sunlight just before it's going away? So this is the most of sunlight we're getting this time of year. <laughs> just so you know, this is the sun in December in middle Norway, aka Trendelag. And uh, yeah, happy to see you, son. I'm glad you stopped by before you went to sleep. Say hello to the rest of the world for me, you know, the southern half of the equator, I suppose. Night, night. Så tenner vi tre lys i kveld for lengsel, håp og glede. De står og skinner for seg selv og oss som er til stede. Så tenner vi tre lys i kveld for lengsel, håp og glede.